you, my students, to get a little exposure to probably the very best Permian nerve that I have collected. This is actually a ganglion of nerves that you can see. Uh, I'm using a polarized light microscope and I also have a quarter wave plate in here but I'm going to turn that to the zero position because I want you to see what it's like to examine these for the diagnostic feature which is the crosshatch pattern and I'll try to keep the illumination proper for you so you can see this I will be going up in magnification in a minute but we want to focus our concentration on this larger nerve bundle here uh, it's very large it travels quite a distance actually there's two of them together uh, and we're going to look at the surface of these to see if we can see the internal epineurium and perineurium so this is 12 uh, 125 power right now 12 and a half x objective and I'm going to go up to 25 x objective and now we're at 250 power and you're beginning to see some of the rough characteristics of the internal perineurium there uh, but it's still a bit of a challenge to see um, because there's uh, uh, detritus, uh, there's uh, dirt, there, there might even be um, organic material uh, attached to the outside of these nerves. Remember I have uh, post-fixed these in osmium tetroxide which uh, darkens any organic material that's on here. You're beginning to see some of the crosshats right there. So we're going to go up again in, in magnification as we travel up this nerve and that's about as high as I dare go now with this. Um, I'll increase the illumination a little bit. So we're just in crossed polars right now. Crossed polars and, and we're just examining, we're going up the trunks of these things to see if we see any better definition on this nerve. And you can see there's a lot of detritus, organic matter in here, but here now we come to a section that is just absolutely spectacular. And you can see the cross hatching in there of both the perineurium and the epineurium. And this is more pronounced when I introduce the wave plate here. Uh, and let's get a little contrast with the field diaphragm, so the uh, aperture diaphragm. And that might be too much contrast. Uh, but I really want you to see the internal structure here, and you can begin to see that now. Uh, and it becomes more pronounced uh, when you add another wave plate. And now you can manipulate in several colors, uh, and this gives you some shading that you otherwise wouldn't be able to see. Uh, and that helps you differentiate some of this crosshatch in here. So, I want you to realize that uh, you may not see this structure in the preparations that you're looking at under your microscope, but I want to assure you that these structures are there. I have photographed them and now videotape them for you to see. So that's epineurium and perineurium uh, inside the wrapping in a nerve bundle from a Permian limb bone. So this is circa 290 million years old, uh, but it still has lipids and structure in it. Carry on, students.